Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be replacing these guys and they're pretty easy to replace. So you guys can see this one's damaged just a little bit. It's not that bad actually, this is just scratched, but this part's a little bit damaged right here. So that's why it's better just to replace these once they have some damage. And the reason why we do that is so it flies better. You don't want any damage right here. So this has some and it's not good. So in order to replace this, all we have to do is just press down on it. So I'm just gonna close it up so you guys can take a better look. So with two hands, this works much better because you don't have to hold with one hand. So I'm just gonna hold with one hand here. I'm gonna press down, I'm just gonna spin it and then it's just gonna pop out. All right, so that's this one. Now in this case, I'm gonna replace all of them. Although some of them are still good. They're barely scratched. So I'm gonna close this one up. Same deal, what I'm gonna do Hold it with one finger. Let me just put this out of the way. I'm gonna press down on it. And there we go. Next. So like I mentioned, all I'm doing is just holding it. Here's from far away, so you guys can see a little bit better, maybe. I'm gonna press down on it, then twist it, and there we go. So I am unlocking it just by going like this. Pressing down, twisting, to the side and then take it off. So you won't notice that you can only twist it to one side, not both. Once you twist it to another side, it's just not gonna come off. So that's how you know you're actually doing it right. So right here are the ones that I have to replace. As you guys can see, some of them are more damaged than the others. I'm just gonna keep them just in case I can repair them, but it's just plastic. So more likely I'm not gonna be able to repair these. So I'm just gonna put them away for now. Now here I have a set of new ones. So let's take them out. So here are the new ones that I have. So basically you need two of these. You'll notice the difference between these two. So I got two that have this and then the others two don't have that circle. So you guys see that circle that has that color, that grayish metal color. There's two of those and two without that grayish color. So how do we know what goes where? Well, luckily it's pretty easy. We're gonna notice right here, there's a grayish color here and there's a grayish color here on these two ends. So let me just zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. So you guys see this up here, that gray? That means we would put this one that has the gray circle with this. So those match. So there's two of these. So we're gonna place one on this end. To place it on top, again, you kinda of just have to line it up. So let me just zoom in a little bit so you guys can see this better. What I have to do is just press on it to make it go in. So see how this will fit, this end right here, will fit in that hole. Once we push it in, we can just turn it this way to lock it in place. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna just place it on top, like so. We're gonna press and then just lock. Now to lock, we do have to hold this right here. So I'm gonna do that. So again, I'm just holding this and then lock. And then you can just let it go. All right, so that's perfect. So that's one of them. So I'm gonna do the other one just a little bit farther away so you guys can see. So in this case, this right here would be one of these guys. See, this has no circle in here. It doesn't have that gray and this doesn't have gray on the sides that means this one goes here again i'm just gonna line it up then what i'm gonna do is just press down on it and then just slide it and there we go so as long as you guys turn this or this then you're good as long as it locks up now on this side you will notice the circle and this they line up right it has that gray so you guys see that gray, this has that gray. So we're gonna go ahead, just put it in, slide it, and it's locked. Let me just do the last one. And this one, I'm actually gonna show you a little bit closer. So again, I'm just gonna put it right there, slide it in, and lock it up. There we go, now it's locked. So there you go, that's how you guys know it's locked. It's not gonna come out and you're all done. You have your brand new propellers set up the correct way. So again, I'm just gonna highlight what we just did. 
you guys see that gray that's a metallic type of look that has to match up with the gray here the other ones do not have gray they, they're just black that's all so this one has that gray so we see that gray right there however this one doesn't so this point is exactly where we're supposed to see this gray here this gray here this one's just black and black that's all anyways that's how you guys can replace right here your old propellers for new ones on your drone if you guys have any comments questions you guys can write down here in the comments area don't forget subscribe and rate thank you